Got this shirt on, you know what that means. Crazy finer time. Jet motherfucking dead. Everybody doing today I hope you're doing well please find me on Twitter at Jen to the Den and I'm also going to list all my other social media down below so you're welcome to find me on those platforms and follow me there I also have some links in the description of this video that you might find helpful and if you do good if you don't maybe you'll know somebody who could use them so there you go how's everybody doing I have another crazy Viner story to tell today and um, I'm gonna be petty as fuck in this story so I know that a lot of people love Petty Jen. I'm just letting you know right up front, Petty Jen is in full effect today because I'm gonna talk about you, Waterbug, or whatever the fuck your name is. I don't know you, dude. I don't think I ever really spoke to you until shit started piling on top of me and your name kept showing up in all of that shit. And I'm just gonna say this. I've had quite a few people that hated me on Vine and who thought I was the most awful bitch, evil witch, cunt on the planet. I've had a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of people who were on Vine and who were mean to me and talked shit about me and went on hate campaigns and smear campaigns and all that shit. I've had a lot of those people come to me privately and tell me I've been watching your videos I'm sorry all that stuff happened like I didn't know all that stuff was happening and I didn't see all of that I only saw like how you were responding to it so I thought you were terrible but now in hindsight you're a pretty cool person you look like somebody I could probably hang out with I've said this so many times in my videos I'm not the type of person to hold a grudge and if somebody comes to me and they're open and honest with me and I feel that they're genuine and they apologize most of the time I accept that apology and I just don't make a big deal out of it. With that being said, there's a few of you that can go and fuck yourself. And Waterbug, you're one of them because I don't know what the fuck your problem was, dude. I didn't know you. I had never interacted with you. And I just remember during a particularly tough time on Vine, I think... Yes, it was when the second book was coming out. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some links down below so that this will make a little bit more sense. If you're not a longtime viewer of mine or a regular viewer of mine, then some of this will not make sense. But I'll just explain very quickly that me and Yolanda Baker, a friend of mine from Vine, we wrote two books about Vine. It was a collection of essays from people on Vine talking about how Vine helped them in their careers, how Vine helped them in, in relationships, travel, um, I, I, so many coming out of the closet, so many different stories. And so the first book sold really well. Second book sold well, not as good as the first book, but there was just so much like jealousy and people just belittling this whole thing and accusing us of exploiting people. And really, I caught all of the, the flack for it because Yolanda really wasn't a viner. She did vines here and there, but mainly she was a viewer. And she just, she came to me with this book idea. It's a whole long story. I will list links down below. I can't go all into it because then I wouldn't, this video would go too long. Little bit of the story is that there was a guy named, he called himself the Cripple, and he was going to be in our second book, but then we decided not to include him. We let him know that very professionally and he chose to act like a fucking lunatic on Vine. There was another group of people and I think he was part of it, Waterbug was part of it, and it was called the Late Night Insomniac Crew on Vine. And it was basically this group of people who didn't sleep and they would stay up all night doing some of the worst vines I had ever seen in my life. Most of them were horror themed with lots of ketchup and knives and uh, the ones that weren't horror were just basically horrific because the quality and the content was lacking so badly that it was just impossible not to make fun of these people. Yes, I'm being very petty. Back to Waterbug. Dude, I didn't know you. 
I had never interacted with you and you're just one of those people that you decided that because your friends didn't like me because they were all ganging up on me now you were gonna start running your mouth also which is one of the most pussy ass bitch childish fucking things in the world to do when you are an adult I tend to even if I my best friend fucking hates somebody I'm gonna try to make that decision for myself whether I hate that person or not. I have had lots of friends that don't like each other and I choose not to insert myself in the middle. Unless you did something really bad to my friend, I usually just stay out of it. But anyway, I started getting on Vine one night and there's this water bug dude and like he's making vines and they're just stupid fucking stupid vines. I didn't even save them. That's how stupid they were. Usually I would grab stuff, but these were just so stupid and bad. He would refer to me as the Wicked Witch, and he would say that I had flying monkeys, and that he loved to say that I was um, some sort of like cult leader or like ringleader and him and his old group everybody said I had minions I didn't I don't have minions I have no power over people I have no way to make people do my bidding we don't even talk about y'all's dumb asses except when we laugh at you but do you realize how much power you gave me like for you to put that amount of responsibility on me just makes me rise to the occasion and that's why I would ridicule you like every chance I got like when you would make vines like this Sarah Sparkles and Panda both are under her wing she's a sham we all know this they don't then I would I would have to ridicule you do you do you understand how stupid you fucking sound when you say shit like that <laughs> like you fucking idiot the reason I'm bringing you up is because uh, my friend Andrea recently like was on Jeremy the dude with the IQ of half a cherry tomato was talking about me on Facebook for some reason the other day like why I don't know but this dude waterbug jumped in and he basically was just talking mad shit about me once again and my friend Andrea was like why are you talking about Jen like that like she's not this person that you make her out to be she's one of my best friends and waterbug was like oh well if she's one of your best friends then that tells me a lot about you and I'm really sorry about the quality of your life because she's just a horrible person and Andrea was like um no she's not you can shut the fuck up that's my friend peace out whatever and I really appreciated that so I guess you know of course she's a minion because she took up for me and it looks like I'm getting heated I'm not it's just the stupidity of the situation I would see him doing and saying these things I literally had never communicated with this man ever I had never spoken to this person I literally did not know he existed he would make edits of me and like call me a witch and all that I would see this and I would be like I mean who is this guy I don't even know who this is so usually at night we would start hashtag games and somebody would make up a hashtag and then we would just do vines I can't remember if this is correct but I think it is and I believe that the hashtag had something to do with a serial killer or a stalker or something like that but it was like it was a funny hashtag I did a few of these vines and I remember that they were related to American Horror Story because I had just finished watching that show that night and along comes this water bug dude now mind you remember I said I had never spoken to him before I had never had any interaction with him before but I had seen him talking mad shit about me a lot a lot of shit about me and I had not said a word and I mean it had been going on for months so I put up a vine with the hashtag and here comes a water bug this, this just type of person I'm talking about like who cares about this shit I can understand that you need to credit people if they came up with something but it's an app we're not getting paid for this maybe a hundred people are watching this maybe and it's like Thursday night so who gives a flying fuck and here comes Waterbug and he's like um excuse me but like this is so and so's hashtag and like you didn't tag them and I just you know you're stealing people's ideas and I was like what motherfucker I was uh, pretty petty that night pretty petty because I've said this time and time again and I'll say it again I'm one person I am one person. There's a bunch of y'all. Y'all are ganging up on me. Y'all are talking shit on the daily. I'm seeing it, but I'm not acknowledging it. You're baiting me, but I'm not taking your bait. But motherfucker, I will be motherfucking goddamn if you're gonna come onto my fucking page and start telling me what I be I need to be doing on my own. Shut the fuck up, dude. 
scurry on back to your hole where you came from. I don't know who the fuck you are. Why are you talking to me? And so then that night he made I don't know how many vines. And again, I didn't grab them. And usually I would grab vines from people because I was like, oh, I'm going to save this. I mean, my computer, look, dudes, I'm OCD. And I have had a lot of people tell me, oh my God, how do you have that? Like, how did you save that? How do you still have that after all this time? I keep evidence. But you know what? I never kept any of his shit except for the few things you're seeing here because he was so stupid. Just so, like, not even worth watching. The only reason I'm talking about him now is just to drag his ass. This is the type of shit he would make. I have no understanding of what he's even trying to do right. This is so stupid. Over and over, like, what is this? This is no content. No, I'm not like a genius. I'm not like an expert. But I really do believe that a lot of these people would mention my names and pick on me and start fights with me because I did have a lot of followers and I knew a lot of the like top viners and shit. And so they thought that if they picked on me and they picked a fight with me, that it would get them more attention. I truly believe that. And the longer that time goes on and the more that I remove myself from the situation, I, that's the truth. Like these people were so fucking jealous of me and just wanted attention so bad. They it, Even negative attention was good enough for them. So I remember the day after he informed me that I needed to tag the proper person. I went out of my way to annoy the shit shit out of him and his group of friends on Vine by doing this. Psst, your highness, this is Ginny Lola's tag. <laughs> well, it's mine now. <laughs> Who is that and why are they participating in my hashtag? They don't have any followers. <laughs> Yes, yes, I see you all commenting, but I only respond to the people who have at least as many followers as I do. <laughs> Why are they trying to insult me? I don't even read their things. They're so below me. <laughs> they want me to revine them. <laughs> I'm Jin motherfucking dead. <laughs> I see you've made 12 vines about me in the last five minutes. And you are? <laughs> oh no. Oh god no, not an edit. Does that mean you can't come up with your own content? <laughs> not the dreaded Austin Power clip. <laughs> well, I'm sure you did write me, but it probably went to my other folder and I simply can't be bothered to click on that. <laughs> well, you see, darling, I would give a fuck what you're talking about, but you only have 83 followers. <laughs> Yeah, I was petty. Petty as fuck. Cause you know what? Like you are a fucking idiot, dude. Like I, you're a grown fucking man talking about minions and flying monkeys and saying Sarah Sparkles. Like for you to get mad and actually have to say the words Sarah Sparkles, that that just negates. <laughs> I love that she named herself that because when dudes would get mad at her and have to say Sarah Sparkles, and yes, I'm making fun of your lisp. Because you're a fucking dumbass. And, and I don't do that to people. I don't make fun of people's appearances or things they can't help unless I have been pushed to a level where I legitimately could not give a fuck less. You, Waterbug, you went out of your way to pick on me, to poke fun at me, to belittle me, to demean me, and you had never taken time out of your life ever to send me a message and ask, hey, what's going on? Uh, you mind if I talk to you and get to know you? None of that. You just wanted to fit in and you chose the wrong side, dude, because this is Petty Jen dragging your ass right now. I really, like, there's a lot of people on Vine I didn't like, but you were just one of those people that I would just look at and shake my head like, that is just a tragedy. That is tragic. Bitch. I can't help it. Brings out the worst in me when I think about these people. There's a crazy Viner story for the day. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. I do videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Just please make sure you are still subscribed and also click the little bell icon down below so it will tell you every time I put up a new video. Like I said, Tuesdays and Saturdays. So come back and join me next time. I love you. Hey, Waterbug. Fuck yourself. Hope you all have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Hold up. I just remember. Mm. Now I'm heated now. Hold up. You know what, dude? I just remembered this. Just remembered this. This all came about around the time that Florida Boy Bud, Jeremy with the IQ of Half a Cherry Tomato, The Cripple, Lampshade Girl, all of them were harassing me, actually texting me, calling me a fake rape victim, all this stuff. And 
That weekend, my friends Blake, who you've met, and Jennifer, my friend who passed away from brain cancer, they were at my house. And Waterbug, you and Jennifer had been friends and you had spoken to each other in private messages. And Jennifer was the type of person that loved meeting new people and she was kind. <laughs> Even when she tried to be mean or snarky, it never really translated well because she was such a, just a, you know, when people die, people always make them out to be angels and wonderful people but I swear to, I swear to you Jennifer was so sweet and she liked you and I remember that that weekend that she was at my house you began speaking shit about her online and you you blocked her on Vine simply for hanging out with me and I was one of her best friends I have a tattoo on my arm because of her so you're a fucking asshole because she was sitting here in my living room when she noticed that you blocked her simply because she was at my house and I remember that she logged into a separate account that she had and started sending you VMs and just saying you know why would you block me? You know, go fuck yourself. You're an asshole. And that was really out of character for her. But Jennifer was a good friend of mine. And she took up for me. And she she was protective of me. And I was the same way over her. That's what sealed your deal for me. It wasn't what you did to me. It was how you treated her because she was my friend. So fuck you for that. You fucking douche. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny right now. You're a fucking asshole. That's it. Enjoy your, your life. I don't know what it is you do besides talk shit on the internet. Bye. And she was like, if you ask the Lord for forgiveness, he will forgive you. You know, and we were just like, and Eric was like, yeah, yeah, thank, thank you.